It's not wrong to be married to one's work, is it? Uh... No. <laughs> not at all. I mean, sometimes it's no honeymoon. I love my job. I really do. And if I say so myself, I'm good at it too. I catch the bad guys. Well, most of the time. So it's a good life. A perfectly good life. Not exactly sublime. When I finish my work and I crawl into bed, I reflect as I turn out the lights that the day that's to come and the week that's ahead will be lunch counter mornings and coffee shop nights. Lunch counter mornings and coffee shop nights. It's reassuring to have such a dependable schedule, like matinees every Wednesday. Or brisket and broad beans each Thursday. With your friends. <laughs> yeah, my friends. I like my pals, the guys on the force. We're not very social. They're all married, of course. Sometimes we go bowling or have a few beers. So it's a fine life, a perfectly fine life. I'd give it two cheers. Because sometimes I think at the end of the day, when I've read the last burglar his rights, that the life that I lead is a little bit gray with his lunch counter mornings and coffee shop nights. Lunch counter mornings and coffee shop nights. But your acting roles, though they make for a change? Oh, Miss Harris, each year from May 23rd to the 12th of June, when I turn my life over to the Swallow Street players, <laughs> that's more than a vacation for me. That's an overture of hope. That's the curtain rising on the greatest joy of my life. But the rest of the year, the life that I lead is a little bit gray. There are plenty of low days and not many highs. Mostly lunch counter morning. And coffee shop nights. I don't mean to seem forward, but might I walk you home? Oh, I'd be delighted. But you said we're not allowed to leave. Oh, <laughs> damn.